Uh, welcome to another episode of Tips, Tricks and Flicks by Marquette Jetta. Um, five things not to do on your jet ski. Number one mistake people always do, forget to put their bungs in. That'll cause you a world of problems. Screw it in, give it a nip up and you're ready to go. Fishing rod there. Mistake jet ski owners always seem to do is you gotta remember when you're driving your jet ski, if you let go of the throttle and try to turn, you're not gonna turn. You're gonna be going straight. So what people always seem to do, they panic for a quick second, go oh, oh, and then they let go of the throttle and then try to turn one way and trying to avoid an obstacle, but they end up hitting the obstacle because they let go of the throttle. Your jet pump's driven with an impeller behind it, so it only can turn when it's got power going through it. So always remember, to turn, you need to use your throttle. Always cut your jet ski engine off before you hit the beach. Reason being, underneath your jet ski, it's like a, you can pretty much add a vacuum cleaner. The intake pump, just sucks up sand and rocks and everything. So ideally, when you start your ski, you want to be pretty much in waist depth water when you come into shore. Cut the engine, then bump up on the shore and you're going to be fine. Number four, a mistake that people often do. They don't clip their key onto their life jacket. So if you do yourself a mischief out there and fall off your jet ski and it's still running, driving away from you, you're going to be in yourself a little bit of a problem there. It's going to be a bit hard to catch up and swim to it. But if you're clipped onto your, onto your vest, if I'm going to go woo and fly away, it's going to cut the engine and I can swim back to my ski. And if you don't happen to have an attachment on your life jacket, just simply clip it in a ring like that on itself, pull it tight, and have it on your wrist. So. That way it's still going to come off with you. The fifth mistake that people often do is not obey the rules when they're out jet skiing. Make sure you give enough space from other swimmers. Don't go be zooming right up into shore next hair. Again, it's against the rules to do that. You've got to be 60 meters out. Um, so just give enough space for that. Make sure you're wearing your life jackets and just obey your local waterway rules. So don't, don't be going 30 knots in a six knot zone, etc., like that. It ends up ruining it for everyone. So, obey the rules. Hope you like this other episode of Tips and Tricks with Mike and Jetta. Bye. Oh, hold up. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Um, if you got any questions or any other suggestions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Enjoy your day. Yeah.